Should be at the beach, yeah, should be at the beach. Originally, the old pumping station was used when the old sewer would overflow. It would pump it out into the storm chamber and into the Thames. And now it's going to connect the old sewer to the new sewer along that pathway and the overflow will travel into down the vortex, down the shaft and into the new super sewer. During a storm event, the water will flow into the storm pumping station and then out to the Thames. The old pumping station on this part of the project is connecting the Rotherhithe line into the new Tideway Tunnel. In the last couple of months we have completed the shaft works and started on the CSO excavation, starting with the two capping beams on the surface and then now continuing to install level one propping and the whalers so that the excavation can continue. So over the last couple of months we've seen the completion of geotech works. A lot of the ground here was highly contaminated due to the previous uses of the site so now the geotech works are all complete. We've been able to start the works in the CSO excavation. We've also seen the start and completion of break into the Greenwich Connection Tunnel and the shaft, which is now handed over to the tunnel team. So the CSO excavation work started with a two-week pump test, which confirmed the geotech's work was successful in making it a sealed box so that none of the water can get contaminated between the two. Because the CSO is located between two existing Thames water assets, each row of whalers has sets of props that we install between. So on the first level whalers, the props get dropped in and fixed between the two sets of whalers. But as we go down at each level, we're going to have to manoeuvre the long props and long whalers, some up to sort of 17 metres long, in between each other using a range of chain locks and other lifting techniques. So the recent progress really has just been the completion of the shaft and the start of the CSO works. Getting in those first two capping beams has really started us off on a strong foot and putting up the king post walls around it so the excavation is ready to go when it happens. Here at Earl we've got a really good team, a small team and a small site are working really well together and the excavation so far is going really well so we hope to progress that through and hopefully have a base lab poured by the end of the year.